<laughs> All right, so basic shape measurement. We're going to focus on three areas, or actually four areas tonight. We're going to focus on perimeter. Perimeter is the measure of the outside of an area, so let's just use this board as our example. So if I'm talking about perimeter, I'm talking about the distance around this whiteboard here. Not the inside, only the outside. Just the outside, oh, okay? okay? Just the shape. Yep, just the shape, the, the, the edge. Okay, so the perimeter of a square is four times the side, okay? So if you have a square and we want to know the perimeter of a square and say this side is eight, and then the square, all sides are the same, correct? Yeah. So that's just going to be eight times four. Times four, okay? Or another way to look at it is eight plus eight plus eight, plus eight. Which it was to the same. It's conclusion. the same thing, right? Yeah. If we're talking about the perimeter of a rectangle, which is like the shape of this whiteboard, and say the length is 10, and the width is eight, the perimeter is two times 10, plus two times eight. Now why is that? Well, because if this length is 10 up here, then it's going to be 10 here. If this width is 8 here, it's 8, eight here. On the other side. Yeah. So, or another way to say that is 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8. Yeah. And as you said, Abel, you get the same result. Yep. Different. Now, the perimeter of a triangle, a little bit different, but same idea. If this is 10 and this is 10 and this is 12, you just simply add up the sides. 10 plus 10 plus 12, plus 12 will give us 32. 32. Okay? Now, the perimeter of a circle is actually a little bit different because it's actually not called perimeter, it's called circumference. Okay? <laughs> and the distance across the circle is called the diameter, okay? And so, for example, if the distance across the circle is 15, then the formula for perimeter of a circle or circumference of a circle is pi. Anybody know what pi is? 3.14 <laughs> times diameter. What's the diameter? 15. 15. So you would get 3.14 times 15, which will be 47.1. Okay? So that's perimeter. So if we wanted to know, you know, if there was a pond and we wanted to build a fence around the pond and how many feet of fencing, then you would use that type of uh, formula. So that is perimeter. Okay? Uh -huh. Now, the next one we're going to look at is area. Area is the surface area. It's everything that's inside. So if we're talking about a square, uh, then we're talking about, if that square is 8, then we're talking about the area of a square, the inside, is going to be a side square. Okay. So the area of a square equals side squared, and that is side times the side, or eight times eight. Does that make sense? So whenever we see this squared sign, that means whatever this number is times itself. The exponent two means this number times itself. A common mistake we make is that we do two times whatever this number is, and we'll get 16, but that's not what that number indicates. It indicates this number multiplied by itself. Okay? So the area of a square is side squared. If we have a rectangle and say that rectangle is 12 and then this is 7, the area of a rectangle is length times width. Okay? So length 12 times width 7 gives us 84 
square feet. Now another way to think about the difference between perimeter and area is perimeter is maybe one dimensional, area is two dimensional, okay? If we're talking about the area of a triangle, the area of a triangle is one half times the base times the height. So if we have this triangle here and the height of this triangle is 10 and the base of this triangle is 10, then you would have 1 half times the base, which is 10, 5 and 5 is 10, and the height is 10, so 10 times 10 is 100, and a half of 100 is what? 50, 50 square feet of this triangle. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, now let's look at the area of a circle. We have a circle, let's look at the same circle we just looked at a moment ago. The area of a circle is pi r squared. Who knows what r means? Radius. Radius. Who knows what pi is? 3.14. Times 7.5. Okay. So now the diameter of a circle is 15. Okay. But a radius is half. Huh. Seven and a half. So 7.5 square or 7.5 times 7.5. So in your calculator, you will punch in the pi number, which is 3.14 times 7.5 times 7.5, and you will get 176.625. Another way to do that is 3.14 times 7.5 and then hit the x squared key and then hit the equal key because and you get the same result. Two, which is yep. Well, not times two though. 7.5 times itself. 